Hello Mets and through time fans have I got a treat for you today. One of the stars of the course Mr. Louis Pasteur. Bonjour my Mets and chums today I'm going to tell you about how I discovered the germ theory. Oh. Mr. Pasteur tell me more. Okay mon cherry well it all started in 1857 when I was asked to find out what was making a company's beetroot alcohol turn sour. What did you find out? I concluded that the germs were harming the liquid and they did the same to milk and beer. But how did you solve this problem? Well I killed the bacteria by gently heating the liquid. I used the same technique with beer and milk I called this process pasteurization this was a huge step forward in keeping liquids free from germs and safe to drink. Tell me more about this amazing experiment. I was convinced that the germs were in the air and I didn't believe the old idea of spontaneous generation so I got two glass containers and put liquid in each then boiled it up to kill the germs. Then what Louis? Well I heated the spout of one of the flasks and it started to melt. Then I bent it into a curve shape. Like a swan's neck? Yes, the liquid in the flask with the bent tube would last four years and not turn sour. This is because it would stop the movement of air. The germs would settle in the lowest part of the curve and not reach the liquid. What about the other flask? The liquid in the other flask soon went bad because the germs in the air could easily make contact with the liquid. So what does all this prove? It showed the medical world that germs did not come alive on their own. Germs could only be found in places they were able to reach. They infect things and turn them bad. The theory of spontaneous generation was dead. Your work is really interesting, where can I find out more? Just read my germ theory I published it in 1861. 1861? Yes don't forget 1861 one of the most important dates in medical history I say again 1861. Any plans for the future? Yes I'm of F to C, if this theory works with animals, I've just had a call from the silk industry to help them out. Okay Louis thank you for your time watch out for chickens, sheep, and dogs. What do you mean you crazy lady? You'll see. Pasteur later went on to discover vaccines for chicken cholera in 1880, anthrax 1881 and rabies in 1882 his work led to the discovery of many other vaccines and massive improvements in surgery and public health.